Hello, and welcome to my guide series on how to make a map in Unturned. This is guide where I'm going to focus on many aspects. I'm going to split it into a couple episodes. But the first episode here is going to focus on the people who don't know how to make a map at all. Now the first thing you want to do is go into the workshop tile. Then go to editor. Just made a little map here, and then you press edit. It's gonna load up the map, and here we have our little map. Now, first of all, when you first spawn in, uh, you can just drag your mouse around, you can press the different stuff here. But you wanna hold right mouse button to look around. Use WASD to go around just like a normal character. You can, if you point upwards, you go up, down, and you go down. And you can use E to descend and Q to ascend. This can be useful sometimes, but I mostly use the WASD. Uh, the first thing I like to do whenever I start up a new map is uh, go to environment and uh, lighting. And then you just press the midday button so you get the sun up in the sky here. This is just so you can see better and Probably that's also how your map is going to be most of the time. If you also want to see how a location looks when it's night, or if it's dawn, it's dusk, or maybe even midnight. But we're going to keep it for day or now. Alright, so you might be thinking, uh, how do I place down stuff? Well, first of all, you should probably get some ground. So we're going to terrain, heights, and then you can see this little circle you have here. That means that you're going to drag the ground up where that circle is. And down here, we have a size tool. Makes it bigger, makes it smaller. And here we have a strength. We'll get to that in just a bit. Now let's just uh, make it a little bit bigger. And then just make a little mountain. Like that. Now, it doesn't really look uh, beautiful or nothing, but it's something. And uh, if you want to make some detail on this mountain, you could take the strength down. Let's say you want to make a beach down here, then you can uh, reduce. You don't take up so much at a time. You just want to make some terrain. And uh, yeah. Then you just get like a bulky base island. And uh, some other stuff that's really useful to know is the smoothing tool. If you press W, that's the uh, default key. Uh, it smoothens down the terrain, so it's smooth. Uh, bear in mind that it's very good for if you have spikes in your terrain and you don't want spikes. Or if you mess something up, you just want to make it look natural again. Then this move tool is really good. And uh, probably the most useful tool is the flatten tool. This tool is used when you uh, put your mouse over a piece of terrain and press E. You see the uh, arrows go down to that point. And that basically means that um, in, in for this circle, all terrain is going to have that exact same height. So if you want to make a big flat area, this is the best tool for you. So let's go ahead and do that. Make a nice big flat area. Then we can use a smoothen tool so it doesn't look unrealistic. There we go. And now we have a big flat area here. This uh, is what we're going to build some stuff on. But first of all, let's go to materials. Now, this is just a big chunk of sand. That's not really... Uh, that beautiful to look at as you can see so what we're gonna go ahead and do is just really simple bake high quality then it bakes uh, the quality of um, yeah, then, it, then it bakes the ter terrain so it adds dirt at the um, steep edges it adds that's sand here on the bottom and that's grass uh, everywhere else really this is um, you can also go ahead and edit each and into it you'll like, if you want sand to be a bit higher, you can uh, increase sand. 
uh, if you want uh, dirt not to be as steep, so it's got to be steeper, so there's more grass. We could go out and do that, or the opposite way around. We can also make it more, so it got to be steeper before that it adds dirt. Or we could go ahead, what I like to do, and put some steepness on some, oh wait, no, on some rocks instead. So at the really steep places, let's try and make like a cliff, hang on. Go back to heights, and we can uh, just take the bottom of the ocean and just kind of do this. And that is smoothen it now. So it doesn't look unrealistic. Go ahead and go to materials again and bake it. Then we have some stone here on the cliff. Very useful. Let's just go on it and uh, remove this. It looks kind of stupid. And there we go. Now you have a nice big flat green area. But as you probably can remember, on all the maps, there are details. And these details, they're probably one of the most simplest tools to use. You just press bake. And then there's flowers and grass. Let's say that um, you don't really like, you, you just like a big, big old flower field on your entire map. Then you could actually do that. Just go out to build with the grass and take it way down. Go to the flowers and maybe put them a bit up. So there are a bit more flowers. Now this is all just uh, fun, right? You shouldn't do that with your normal map. But yeah, then you can just get a bunch of flowers. It's kind of cool. Let's put that down again and get some grass. You can uh, also make the grass more dense. I did that on some of my maps, or you can make it less dense. This you can also only take one type of grass if you want to. It's uh, all up to you really, up to preference. And uh, then also, before we put trees down, let's just uh, go to the uh, level. That's the uh, world, it says there. And uh, then we go to objects. And then you see a huge list over here with all different kinds of buildings. Now, I do have some mods installed. I tend not to use them because they don't really fit with the unturned. But let's go ahead and just search. You can search up here. Remember, it's the object name filter and not this one up here. It's this one. And then let's just go ahead and type house. Then uh, let's just take house number one and put it down like that. And we have a nice little house here. And remember that it always has the floor at the same level as the grass. So you want to put it a bit up. There we go. Have a nice house. But inside this house, there's a bunch of grass. And we don't really like that, of course. So we're going to go back to terrain. And we're going to go to materials. Because then if we bake again, look, there comes gravel around it, which means that we can go back to details and bake because grass doesn't bake on the gravel. And there we have it, a little house. Nice, and a little house in the middle of nowhere. Now let's say that um, we could go ahead and uh, make a little dock over here for him. We we'll just take dock number one, place it down. Let's just say he has a little dock for his boat here. There we go. And uh, he wants here a road so he can uh, drive over there whenever he wants to leave the island, of course. So that now we go to environment where we have nodes, navigation, roads, and lighting, like we did the first time with the lighting. And then we go to roads, of course. And then we get a bunch of different options here. Now, um, since it's just this little place here, I don't think he'll need a highway. We just give him a white zero. 
and we'll place it right in front of his house, and then we'll place a node over here. And now that makes a direct line between the two. Could then you can take these uh, blue and uh, yellow boxes, blue and yellow, and then you can just press on these and press E wherever you want them to be. Uh, if you want to make some uh, curvature, curvature in your road. And then once you're done, you think, yeah, this is a pretty good road. You just press Bake Roads. And just like the house, there's grass inside. Oh. So you might want to go to terrain and materials and bake them again so you can get some gravel there. And then just go to details and bake them once again. Now our fine little fisherman over here has a road, a dock, a nice little island with a little mountain and a house without any grass in it, even though there are some rocks. That's basically all you need to know to be able to use the editor. There's also one other thing, you can uh, get some trees up, just say go bake global, and then there's trees on his island now, so if he wants to go chop down some trees, he can do that. There's also an option to remove certain trees, if you can see there's a lot of trees. But you could just go ahead and then you can, let's say we don't want any birch trees because we don't really like the colors on the leaves or whatever. And you press that and just like with the flowers, you take the density and the chance down. And the other birch, you take the density and the chance down. Basically density oh, means how dense it will be and chance means the chance for it to spawn. And then you press global again and you should be able to see that now there are no birch trees, there's only maple and pine. That's another good thing to know. Also, if you want to take a screenshot of your beautiful home, uh, there is a way to do that. You just go to level again, visibility, and just press on all of these. And then you can press the home button. That's what it is on my keyboard after all. Now you can take a screenshot of your beautiful island with F12. That's just default on Steam. There we go. Now we have a nice island here. And you can always go back to the visibility and, uh, and then you can edit the roads again. Let's say you want to edit the roads or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's basically all you need to know. Tune in next time as I show you how to decorate the interior of houses and the outside of houses and uh, subscribe if you would like to see more guys this is only the first episode there's going to be many more to come and like it if you learned something that you didn't know and i will see you next time goodbye